Today we're going to show you how you can model, manage, and store business data centrally and access it quickly and seamlessly across your automations using UiPath Data Service. In this demo, we will create a service request entity to capture data over time. We already have three entities, customers, products, and service agents defined in the system, and they capture specific related information, such as name, ID, creation time, etc. Let's create the new service request entity to store information about the incoming service requests to our contact center. I start by clicking on Create New Entity, let's call it Service Requests, and save it. Just like that, a new service request entity is created. Now let's define the fields for this entity by clicking on Create Field and providing the details. Let's create the first field, Service Request Number, and name it SR Number. I will choose text as the type of data for this field. I also have the option of specifying the length of the data string. I will make this as a required field. Next, I will create a field to capture the data of the customer requesting the service. Let's name this field customer. You may remember I already had customer data, so I'll choose the data type as relationship and link it to the customer's entity already in my system. Let's use customer ID as the display field on the screen and save the field. Let's create another field called region to capture the geo for the service request. Here we will use a choice set because we have a limited number of regions to choose from. Notice that there's no choice set that pertains to the region yet. Let's create a new choice set called region. I'll add three choices, Americas, EMEA, and APAC by clicking the Add Choice button. Once these choices are saved, we can access it in the field section. So, let me recreate the region field, choose the data type as choice set, and this time I can select region as the type of choice set and make it a required field. Similarly, I've created title, owner, product, status, and closed date fields for the service requests entity by selecting the respective data types. With all these fields created, our service requests entity is complete and ready to be used in any of our automations. Let's look at how to use it in an automation in UiPath Studio. In Studio, let's create a blank process. Here the studio is connected to the orchestrator for the data service we used. So you can see the new service requests entity that we just created. To import the entity, I click on the Manage Entities option in Studio and then choose the entities. Once I click the Save button, the selected entities get imported and are available in Studio to use in my automations. In this demo, we saw how to create an entity, add fields to it, and specify the type of data the fields need to contain using the data service. We also saw how easy it is to import the entities from data service to Studio and use them in automations.